In a small town, painted in the hues of everyday struggles, there lived a boy whose life was a constant battle against poverty. Each morning he would set out with a bag full of odds and ends which he sold door to door. This wasn't just a job, it was his way to scrape together enough money to continue his education, his beacon of hope in a life shadowed by hardship. One particularly sweltering day, after hours of walking and with not a single sail, he felt a gnawing emptiness in his stomach. Weak and dizzy, he knew he needed something to eat soon, but his pockets were as empty as his belly. Desperation led him to a neatly painted house on Elm Street. With a shaky hand, he knocked, hoping for a bit of water to soothe his parched throat. The door swung open to reveal a young girl with eyes as kind as the spring sky. The boy, his throat tight with embarrassment, managed a whisper. Could I have some water, please? Peering into his weary eyes, the girl didn't just fetch water. She returned with a large glass filled to the brim with milk, its cool swirls promising relief. Gratefully, the boy sipped the milk, each gulp reviving him a little more. When he finally spoke, his voice was anxious. How much do I owe you for this? The girl, with a gentle smile, shook her head. Nothing at all, she insisted. With a heart swollen with gratitude, the boy thanked her and continued on his way, the memory of her kindness etched deep within him. Years whisked by and the threads of their lives unfurled in directions as unpredictable as the wind. The girl, now a woman, faced a tempest of her own. Struck down by a rare nervous disorder, she found herself in the sterile whites of a city hospital, her condition puzzling the best minds in medicine. Enter Dr. Kevin a name known across lands for his prowess in neurology. Tasked with this challenging case, he worked tirelessly, his expertise guiding him through the labyrinth of medical complexities. After months of relentless effort, victory was his. The woman was cured, her relief immense as she faced the world anew. Yet looming like a dark cloud was the hospital bill, a potential ruin for her modest savings. With trepidation, she received the envelope, her hands trembling as they revealed its contents. But instead of a figure, she found the bill marked, cancelled, and beneath it, a note in familiar handwriting, bill paid years ago with a glass of milk. In that moment, the simple act of kindness shared between a weary boy and a compassionate girl came full circle, a testament to the profound truth that sometimes the smallest gestures forge the deepest echoes. So remember, a glass of milk, a simple act of kindness can ripple through the years, touching lives in ways we can scarcely imagine.